Hi friends, it's Jaha Ara here. Originally, I was going to share with you a recipe in this video, um, but I had some technical difficulties. So um, what, I, what I did was I recorded everything, but half of the video film isn't there. Um, it didn't record. So what I'm going to do is to modify it slightly instead of how to make a butternut squash barta, uh, which I shall share with you at a later date. This video is just how to make the curry sauce. So stick around till the end where I'll give you some suggestions on how to use this sauce. So while the butternut squash is is baking in the oven, I'm just going to prepare the onions. I'm going to chop the onions very, very finely. Now I'm chopping them quite finely, purely because that's just how I like it but this would work equally with larger with larger slices of chopped onions now i'm going to use a mixture of red onions and white onions i i think that it gives the sauce a sweeter taste and it just mixes it up a little bit You don't have to use the red onions if you don't want to, but um, I would suggest try it. It does taste quite delicious. Now, when I'm cooking a sauce, I like to add some spring onions. Um, you don't need to add these, but I feel that it really adds a lot of zing uh, to your whole curry. So go ahead and give it a try. I wouldn't add too much of the green onions because they, they make the curry a little bit bitter. Something I found out the hard way. It's just a little bit. It really does lift the curry. It just brings all the flavours alive. I also like to add a bit of red capsicum pe pepper. It really adds a lot of flavour to the curry and it adds a beautiful red colour to it as well. This is one that I had frozen and I, I'm not going to use all of it. I think all of it would be too much. I'll just use that piece there. I'm just going to slice that up, chop it up as fine as I can. Now what I'm going to do with these chilies is just slice them and de-seed them because we don't want the heat from these chilies, we just want the flavour to be infused in our curry, butternut squash curry, or barta really, it's a butternut squash barta. So 
in this pan I've got some um, white onions, red onions, spring onions and half a capsicum. So into that I am going to add the chilies and the garlic. I've just crushed it up or blended it up even here so that it's finely chopped. Normally I like to crush them, pound them, but this is just fine. And what I have here is just a little bit of water. Uh, that I'll add when I come to add the spices, the ground spices. So I'll just put that here. And into this pot, I'm going to add some salt. And some olive oil. I always cook with olive oil but you can use any oil of your choice. And I don't really measure it, I just kind of glug it in. The only way to tell really is to mix all of your ingredients and see how it is. I might just add a little glug more. Then I will cook that on a high heat and keep checking it every now and again. So this has been cooking for about five minutes now, maybe just over five minutes. I'm going to let that cook down for maybe about half an hour. So this has been cooking for about 10 minutes altogether now. I'm going to put the heat down a little bit, bring it down to about a medium heat and let it cook down a bit more. I'll leave it uncovered this time. Remember to keep coming back and checking on your onions. You don't want them to burn. You want them to cook down to get most, if not all, of the water out. I'm going to make it into a thick, tight sauce. Now, our onions have been cooking for about 20 minutes now. And they're cooking down really nicely. ready for the spices. I'm just going to chuck in a tiny bit of water just to help it along not to stick to the bottom. Now into this I'm going to add my secret weapon which is five spice. It's also known as the five pickling spices. So I'm going to add about one teaspoonful. I'm going to let that cook for a few minutes, let the spices infuse, and then I'll add in the other spices. Now the five spice has been cooking down for a few minutes now, so it's a good time to add in the other spices. And in here I have about half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, a tiny touch or a pinch of um, chili powder, one and a half teaspoons of cumin powder and about one and a half teaspoons of coriander powder. So I'm just going to add that all in. Now I'll just 
add a little bit of water to that just so that the powders don't burn. have had a chance to cook down a little bit and I'm going to add the tomatoes in here I've just got really one regular tin of plum tomatoes you can use fresh, you don't have to use tin. Um, if you use fresh, maybe about four or five medium sized tomatoes. So I'll let that cook down now for a few more minutes. Um, you'll see when it's ready when the oil rises to the top. I'm going to try and cook it down, tighten up the sauce as much as I can. So into this sauce, you could quite literally add anything you like. You can add some chickpeas. I've added sardines to this sauce before as well. You don't need a lot of sauce for it for one tin, but it goes really, really nicely. Um, basically any tinned beans, butter beans, um, any vegetables. Uh, I've made it with courgette. You can add chicken to it. Really anything you want it's a delicious sauce so give it a try share with me in the comments below what you put in the sauce how you used it thanks for watching bye